At the fun fair again. Yay! Sebastian got a hangover. He's got a hangover. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if you had, but there's like a lot of things going on here. Really, really warm, and we just want to go back home. Sally's at home. It's too warm to take her. So um, we're going to the beach after this, guys. And um, yeah, then we're just going to go have a swim somewhere. I think I might go in. Look at this, guys. A rare Danish sight. It's a lizard sitting right there. Sally, stay here, Sally. It's quite rare when we see them here in Denmark, but I just spotted it when me and Paul were down at the beach watching it. And there was a little beetle crawling on top of it, and she, she, she actually stole it. That there is a female, because she's brown. The male will have almost like a neon green color. There she goes. I used to catch them as a kid. They're ever so fun. That's a Danish lizard. They're not much bigger than about this. But they're really, really cute. Uh, they are not endangered species, but you're not allowed to catch them, even though we did as kids. So. Come out. Sally, leave it alone. Come on. Come on, come on, Stone. Now that's a furry lizard. <laughs> just by a log, I just saw it out of my eye. Um, I think it's the first lizard you ever seen in Denmark, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so, but they are around. They normally use the stones to keep warm and like they do everywhere else, anyway. All right, I um, just thought I'd want to show you guys. You look all furry and fussy. You've been out swimming. As you can see, guys, here, Paul is preparing the food because we are being barbecuing tonight. And I'm going out to check the coals. I can bring these out. Come on, you go give me a hand with the grill. It is gorgeous out. We've been out at the beach. We've been for the market again. And yeah, look here. It looks like we have some hot, hot, glowy coals, which is really, really nice. What's that noise, Sally? Are you turning the neighbors off? You silly thing. I want to show you guys something. Um, we went to the beach. I found this rope here. It was all curled up in um, in seaweed. So I sorted, rolled it out. It has tied, untied all the nuts. And uh, now when it's dry, it's almost dry, I want to be um, going onto YouTube and trying to see if I can figure out how I can build like a toy out of rope for Sally, like a dog toy. Um, that should be doable. <coughs> so I'm gonna be barbecue master. Um, I was the same yesterday with Casper party. I'm sorry we didn't film much, but, but actually what we did was actually just drinking, having fun, and telling crazy jokes and laughing. Um, but much of it mostly in Danish, so you wouldn't get much of it. Um, I did have quite a few footage clips and stuff like that, but. There was like, oh, everything is in Danish, all the jokes are in Danish, and many of them wouldn't directly translate over to English, so this sounded awkward, so... Anyways guys, I'm gonna help Paul get the food ready. I'm just sitting here and watching some of the live, on the live program, but watching some of the episodes of The Voice. Um, I do like to see people which has not got um, like a, a musical status yet or have become like signed or anything like that and to see how many good talents there really is out there. Many of you don't know this but I've actually been singing myself for many years and I was actually entered in the Danish Idols contest once. Um, it's similar to those of you who don't know what it is. Idols was the same as like um, X Factor but from a different company. We were about 2500 people auditioning and I ended up between the top 35 that year and that was really really amazing and, and I fell out just before the live shows uh, which was really really ha heartbreaking for me definitely because I was just like wow I'm really really going so far and I just really hope that would have made it to live shows um, but on the other hand because I was invited on a holiday um, back then uh, from uh, to USA for about six weeks, six eight weeks. Um, I would have been able, have wouldn't have been able to go for that holiday uh, if I actually got through to live shows. So it was bad luck mixing with good luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to sing a lot and I used to love it. Um, but I haven't done it for a long time. And watching these programs is kind of like kicking my mood and wanting to do it again. Um, 
to get myself a microphone and start recording some stuff. Uh, I used to write songs as well, but it seems to have gone in the past, which is a bit sad. I want to try and pick it up again. I'm going to leave it down, guys, because I'm going to have a shower, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we go to the market and try to sell some condemners. Um, I haven't still got through to the woman who should tell me if I was allowed to go there, but since I have a text message saying that she sh I should write to her and blah, 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 and she hasn't bothered to reply, I'm just going to go there, and if someone comes and says, you can't do this, well, at least I try to get through to her because I called them, and she asked me to give me a name and all that, and she never bothered to reply. So I can always stick that in their face in case they say, you can't tell here. Alright guys, um, but I'm going to see you tomorrow. Peace.